Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Good morning, everybody. This is Kenny with Juicy F-150s back at you today with another little video. Some things we're going to be doing to the truck. Try to keep these videos broken up so they're not like you know, an hour long or 30 minutes long or anything crazy like that. Just get a little quick 10 minutes out of your day if you wanted to do a little upgrade to your truck. Um, so basically today what we're going to do is work on the option to have some audio from an auxiliary input coming to the truck. So for the 2016, I at least know, um, and up, they got rid of the auxiliary 3M input on my XLT for sure. Some people say that they have it, some people don't, but I have the center console shifter and um, there is none in there. There's none in there at all. That is important to me because I do Bluetooth my phone and Bluetooth everything else. I have DVD headrests that go into the headrest of my truck for my kids when we take our truck places. That just has no sound to it. So um, with the auxiliary input, we would plug the headphone jack into there, plug the headphone jack into the CD player, and that would give us audio through the car. Made the movie sound great. They felt like they were sitting in a little theater, um, you know, bass, boom, 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 boom. It, it sounded real good, and they enjoyed it. Now, we don't have that option. We tried a couple of those FM transmitters, and they don't work. So what we're going to do today is something a little different to see how it works for us. Um, what we have is the two antenna adapters that we're going to be putting into the truck. So we got to take the radio out and the dash off. And we also have the iSimple radio mod. It um, makes the connections for your iPod, MP3 player, and other sources to go directly into your radio of your car. So here it is. Part number is IS31. So we're going to work on getting the dash and stuff out of the truck, and I'm going to try to just keep this nice, clean, and simple for you. Hopefully it works well. Um, on the side of our head, on our monitors, on the side of our monitors in the back screen, there are auxiliary um, audio video ones, the yellow, white, and red ports that come out. So we're going to run the yellow which is the video from screen to screen so that they mimic what was on the other screen and we're going to run the white and the red up to the front and they're going to plug into the back of this this module is then going to go into the radio it's going to splice into the radio so when you cut all that on the audio will come out of the screen into that box and play through the radio with no wireless disconnects in between all right we'll see if that works all right, so now here we are up into the front of the truck. We're going to take off the top speaker cover, the top little tray, and the screen. Uh, not the screen, but the bezel in the front. What we have is the parts that I had recently showed you, my tripod that I'm going to set my camera up on. A little trim tool, 7 millimeter, three quarter, uh, a quarter inch ratchet, and the DeWalt with the quarter inch drive. Let me just go ahead and show you what I'm meaning in the back seat about the auxiliary inputs. So I've, sorry about the inside of the truck, being a little dirty. Like I said, I have kids. Screen here, just some RCA cheap ones that we had from Walmart. So, as you see, we used to have it plugged in here at the headphone port at the top right there. Um, but now we don't have that in the truck. So what we're going to try to do is keep the video plugged into the other screen. But these two audio, left and right, we have it all going down through some of the, um, what do I call it? I forgot. But like this mesh wire wrap goes through here, goes underneath. Makes it look a little bit cleaner rather than, I didn't want to run it through my leather. I didn't want to want to mess with that. Cut my leather or do anything, the new cat skin. My other truck, I had them back through there and you couldn't see it. They was just down here, but, I have it all running underneath there. The power wires underneath there. So only thing I have to do is lift the lid up, plug it in, and it all works. On this side, as you see, there is no audio and video plugged in because there's no need for it. The audio and video that came from the left screen to the right screen is now up under the dash. Uh, let me get that zoomed in. Alrighty. 
Let's start taking this apart. All right, so here we are in the truck. Know before I start that I've already taken this out once before, so it seems pretty simple. And I did drop a couple of screws back behind the dash, so there are going to be screws, and I'm going to tell you where they're located that aren't going to actually be in the truck. So, and here we'll just pry underneath the corner of this trim. So I'm assuming it felt like about eight, eight different snaps that came through. And now that we have that out, we're going to disconnect the four wiring harnesses on it. All four plugs are out. Want to go sit in the floor next to it. As you might see, here are the auxiliary cables. Let me pause the video and show you all how I routed those. So, coming from the back, the cords go underneath the cup holder part that we've already seen in the center console the wires are run underneath this piece of trim here going on around I've popped up this you basically put a pry tool under the corner here corner here it will pop up both sides will pop up then you just they're firmly snugged into there you will pop all of it up in the air and then these two pops kind of slide in so you will wiggle it back and forth out of shimmy in action it will come back out. Um, once that's out, there are two bolts that hold this part of the cup holder in. I loosen those up to get the wires run all around and then coming out the top. Back at it. So. All right, now what we're gonna do is just slide these two wires, so these two plugs and all their wires Back in there, we're going to get the drill. We're going to take out the CD player is going to come straight forward. Just a little, little firm pull there. Wires are a little more tight in the back than they should be, but they'll wiggle on forward. All right. So we're going to just turn it to the side here. me we keep little uh blankets and things or larger blankets and things in our truck for travels and you know you never know what happens when you have kids so let me get one of those out so i don't just sit here and just be scratching my stuff all up okay so we're going to well, i need to unplug to give me some slack. That's what I need to find out first. All right, so the, the antenna needs to come out. So the antenna is the one that's gonna come out. And there's also a Sirius antenna 
antenna. We're going to go ahead and unplug it just because it's the one with the least amount of slack. We'll let it sit there. So now we have the antenna plugs that we're going to plug in here. This is opening all the parts out of the box. The box is open. Here's the adapter. It comes with the standard antenna plugs, which the truck does not have. Also a power and a ground and a switch. I will post the part number links to the antenna plugs, but here's one of the antenna plugs that goes into the, it is the uh, male side. We'll go into here. Plug in. The other antenna will go into the other end. Plug here. So what we've done was convert this to be able to work with the truck. All right. So this is the the plug with the um, yellow on it, the thick one, is the regular antenna to the truck. With the orange on it, I'm sorry. Regular antenna to the truck. The Tealish plug will plug into it. Make sure I plug it in nice and smooth. All right. And the other connector will plug back into the back of the radio. Let's hope we can get it all plugged in there without any kind of modifications to it. All right, so it's plugged in there. Now we can plug the Sirius back in. Well, let's just take a look and see if the radio still works before we keep moving. Music, so it's working. All right, so now we have that part plugged in. What we have to run now is more just the, keep the power and stuff off to one side. We'll go ahead and get the uh, audio cables. Red to red, white to white. I was just gonna find somewhere. I think I found somewhere already. That I'm gonna zip tie it all to. Get these wires kind of bundled up together a little bit, throw a zip tie in there, and then we're gonna work on the power switch find somewhere to plug power to it. Ideally, I can get my voltometer out and just make it have power only when the radio is on, which I think I'm gonna either do that or I'm gonna tap into this um, cigarette lighter or port down there. And this is supposed to be the switch to turn it on and off. So we'll see how, see if it works. Magic isn't real, Paul. Works. Will Thad ever be a man? Outlook not so good. I like it. 
So we have Shazam playing on the screens. You and broke it. When we have it coming yeah. through the Sid. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna get all this wiring and stuff wrapped up. So finished product, everything is reinstalled. Um, I did make a little change. So the monitors are on. They are actually powered from this cigarette lighter down here. I switched it from the wire that I had up earlier, the red wire, because the red wire didn't seem to cut off. But whenever this cuts off, Usually it'll shut down about the same time as the rest of the radio. The uh, DVD players will lose power as well. Fail safe, keeping you from just getting out, you know, forgetting them on. We open the door and then there we go. Doors open. We'll go back here. I didn't do anything. DVD players are off. So back up here to the front. I installed my switch right here. I do have to clean up all the little shavings. So you just reach down on and off. Um, can started. Lights back on. DVD players should be back on. Yep, cutting on. But also, they're able to be turned off switch so everything is off with the switch right now everything off radio works as normal nine points for the mountaineers over the mountaineers last let's go couple of games he but if i flip both. the switch it blocks all west out. virginia up 5 24 19 pressure by wvu maybe i'm wrong taken by mark let's smith see. get down here too guarded by mccabe FM. That's a champion. Thanks. They'll sweep me, Mr. Video player. Really gotta get going. My brother's a sister. <laughs> In theory, you don't oh. even have to and that's Oscar. have a switch. I guess. Oh, okay. Come back here. Your name, the view player still works. But hey, I like it this way. It makes sure I can turn it off completely. And that's it. Make sure if you like this video to hit the like button and subscribe to my videos. I am trying to do a subtle competition in between my truck and my wife's truck, and I think she's leading. All right. Um, here we go.